Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's your TIP daily for May 30th, 2013. Okay, so the first story of the day is an awesome iPhone 5S concept from a designer named Ran Anvi. Now he's out of a whole host of other concepts in the past and they've all looked great. And what's really cool about this iPhone 5S design is that it doesn't really uh, totally revamp the phone to a point where it's, you know, totally unrealistic and not even recognizable as an iPhone. In fact, he keeps the exact same size of the iPhone 5, just making the bezels around the screen smaller, extending the overall screen size to 4.8 inches, which ups the resolution to 1320 by 740. There's also a capacitive home button on this iPhone 5S concept instead of the physical clickable home button on the current iPhone models. I'm not sure how I feel about the capacitive home button, even though it's one of the pieces of the iPhone that breaks most often, I'd still much rather have a clickable home button than a capacitive one. But overall, I definitely like this concept. I'm personally pretty happy with the screen size on the iPhone 5, but if Apple was to up the screen size, this is definitely how I would want them to do it. I think the the overall footprint of the iPhone 5 is perfect. I don't want it to get any bigger. Some of these Samsung Galaxy devices are just too big. It, it, I think it's ridiculous. Uh, so if we do get a bigger screen size, this is what I want. Okay, moving on in next generation iPad news, a Vietnamese website that I will not try to pronounce uh, seems to have gotten their hands on a reported case for the fifth generation full-sized iPad. Now there are some pictures and there was a video, but it seems that uh, it was taken offline. Uh, but the pictures show a case for a device with a full 9.7 inch screen. Uh, but a much, much smaller bezel around the iPad, which definitely lines up with rumors of the next generation iPad's design. Uh, basically that it's going to mirror the design of the iPad mini with a smaller bezel around the screen and an anodized aluminum back, making it much more portable, uh, but still preserving the full screen real estate. Now, of course, leaked cases are always a toss up. They could be right, they could be wrong. There's really no way of knowing. Uh, but this blog in particular does have a record of being right in the past with these sort of things, so you should take that into consideration. Okay, and finally, a German blog called AppleMe.de uh, composed a bit of a concept of iOS 7, what Safari could look like on an iPad running iOS 7. Uh, it really took into account the flatter design, the black and white user interface elements, as well as some really cool multitasking and bookmarking uh, card UI elements. I think this is a pretty great concept. I'm not so sure how accurate it is just because Apple doesn't really seem to be going for that card sort of functionality that we saw in WebOS a while back. Uh, but, you know, anything's possible. All right, well, that about does it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, your question of the day today is, uh, we talked about hardware and software today, so I just want to know what is more important to you? A new hardware, uh, super sleek redesign of a classic device, or a new software that breathes new life into your old device. You can let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Please don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video in the description down below, so definitely check that out. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, please don't forget to check out todaysiphone.com.